Hi, everyone. On today's video, we'll be showing how to factory reset iPad if you've forgotten your passcode. That means we're gonna erase the iPad to factory settings without passcode. All the photos, all the information, the lost or forgotten lock screen passcode and the disabled or unavailable screen you have on the tablet are completely wiped off. Hopefully you guys have a backup of your iPad so you won't lose any data and settings, because once reset, you're able to restore the backup to put anything back to the device. If not, you have to set up the iPad fresh just like it was when you bow it for the first time, but on the positive side, you can regain access to your iPad after the reset. Okay, right now you forgot or lost iPad passcode to unlock it, or your iPad screen reads iPad unavailable, or iPad is disabled after you entered too many random wrong passcodes. No matter which situation you guys are in, this video shows you three tips to reset an iPad without passcode or computer and get around your problem. Let's do that right now. Alright, in order to be back to factory settings, the first solution we're going to do is to use Erase iPad feature, which is easier than Execute and iTunes Restore. This is a new resetting approach for iPad OS 15.2 or higher when you forgot the lock screen passcode, or got iPad unavailable, security lockout message. The first step is to activate the Erase iPad feature, but mostly we're gonna do is a check. So the iPad OS should be 15.2 or newer than it. If not, go ahead to the next method to factory restore your iPad. The second one is that the unavailable screen displays try again in 15 minutes. Try putting in several incorrect passcodes until you see iPad unavailable or security lockout try again in 15 minutes. Then the third thing you need to check is that the locked iPad is connected to cellular data or Wi-Fi network. Don't try to restart the device as the Wi-Fi connection will be disconnected. The final thing is that you have to remember your Apple credentials you used on this iPad, since this factory reset route requires your Apple ID password to erase everything. Once you meet these requirements, now we're gonna factory restore iPad without the passcode and erase the locked screen. The resetting process doesn't involve a computer and it's really easy to follow. Alright, on the screen that is saying iPad unavailable try again in 15 minutes or 1 hour, tap erase iPad option at the bottom. Then it asks us to erase all data and settings. So to trigger an iPad reset, we're gonna tap erase iPad again. Next, we're going to do is sign out of Apple account from the iPad. So we need to enter the Apple ID password. After you out in your password, the reset process begins. Give the iPad a few minutes to reset everything to factory settings, and then it will boot up. We're back to what it looked like when we first picked it up and thought or really there is to it. Now the passcode you've forgotten, iPad unavailable problem or security lockout error has been removed successfully, and you can access the iPad without passcode. You can also use Finder or iTunes to factory reset the iPad that you've forgotten the passcode to, or that is stuck on iPad unavailable screen. Okay. First, connect iPad to the computer. Then put iPad into recovery mode. If you're like my iPad coming with a home button, press and hold the home button and power button all together. Keep holding on these two buttons for 20 to 30 seconds, and you should see the recovery mode screen. It's a charging cable pointing to the laptop. For iPad with Face ID, I'll put the instructions in the description below. Alright, the next step is do a restore. On your computer, launch iTunes or Finder. Make sure you're using Windows 10 or later, and the latest version of iTunes. If you're using a Mac, make sure it's up to date, when a pop-up window appears asking you to update or restore your iPad. Choose the Restore option, then click Restore and Update to let the factory restore begins. iTunes or Finder is now downloading the latest version of software for the iPad to bring it back to full functionality. This will take 30 minutes or a bit longer depending on your broadband. Wait patiently. When the reset finishes, your iPad is resetting to its factory conditions and booting up as an empty device. Now you'll be greeted by the setup assistant which guides you to create a new passcode and restore from any backup if you have one so your data erased during the reset should be back. All done iPad passcode has been reset. Enjoy your life. Let's come to method number 3 of using iPhone Unlocker from AppGeeker to restore iPad without passcode or Apple ID password or iTunes. This is useful if the erase iPad option doesn't work for you guys. Perhaps your guys have no Wi-Fi connection, or the cellular network is not stable at all that the reset process is stuck there. No matter your reasons, 
iPhone Unlocker is your lifesaver. It's able to factory reset the iPad that is unavailable, disabled, security lockout or disabled, and remove the passcode from the lock screen. You guys can download this program on a Windows PC or Mac. I've also put the download link in the description section below. Alright, folks, open the program. To attempt to reset iPad when your lost or forgotten passcode, choose Wipe Passcode on the main interface. Then click Start button. Now grab the USB cable that comes with your iPad. Plug the larger end of the cable into the USB port of your computer, and the small end to the port on the iPad. As you can see, the software will not recognize the iPad unless you unlock it. To solve this, you need to enter recovery mode. The software has the instructions to guide you to do this for each iPad model. I've explained this in the previous iTunes Restore route. Good job! Your iPad goes into recovery mode and has been detected. What we're gonna do next is check the device information. Make sure everything is matching for your iPad. Then click the Start button. This will download the firmware. If your iPad is not running the latest operating system, the software will download the most current iPad OS and install it. Wait till the process to the end. Once done, a dialog pops up informing you that a reset of iPad will erase all content and settings on it. If you're sure you want to factory reset the iPad because you forgot the passcode on the lock screen, enter 0000, and then click the unlock button. The reset process starts. You can see an Apple logo and a progress bar on the screen meaning that your iPad is restoring now. Do not unplug your device, and just wait the process to finish. Once the factory reset is completed, iPad turns on. There's no passcode, no iPad unavailable, no security lockout screen anymore. If you need to factory reset your iPad for the reasons of selling it or returning it or whatever, you can do this in Settings app. Tap General, Locate and tap Transfer or Reset iPad, choose Erase all content and settings. Then tap Continue when asked if erase this iPad. The final step is entering your lock screen passcode to trigger the reset procedure. Your iPad is wiped clean, ready to be given away or to sold. That's it for this tutorial. Let me know if you have any other questions in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like as always. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.